Good morning and welcome to a day in my life with a terrible plait. Like that plait is so bad on so many levels. It's so bad. I wanted my hair off my face out of the way and didn't fancy a bun so we're going with a terrible plait. And I thought we'd sit down and do a very quick mini get ready with me because in the last vlog you would have seen that I went to the Merit Beauty launch event. I definitely got decked out with some goods there so I wanted to put them on and like show you what is going on in the makeup bag these days. But I also wanted to share with you my skin. This video is sponsored by Skin and Me. I've now been using, it must have been a year. I must have had my year anniversary with Skin and Me. I need to count on my empty daily doses. But I am such a fan. It has done incredible things for my skin. And I always say whenever I do these videos, but I'm like, I've managed to convert so many people in my real life to it as well. Mark has it. I've got a friend who's really struggled with acne over the years. She loves it. And then also I was around my um, auntie and uncles the other day and I saw it in their bathroom. <laughs> one by one, I'm ticking everybody off the list. You know what I'm gonna zoom you in. I just wanted to give you a really close up look at my face with nothing on. I've just got on a sunscreen. I do have a bit of fake tan on as well from last night. Always helps to make things look a little bit more glowy, but I'm so happy with this. I feel like it's really helped with the fine lines um, in the forehead area. It's really helped with discoloration actually across the cheeks. This is my dark spot here and I do feel like it is helping to fade that. I feel like the texture of it is really good. It's very soft and it's just so easy to use. We'll get into it later on in the video, but there you go. That's what I'm working with in the morning. I feel like my skin is quite juicy today, so I feel like this is a good day to test out the Merit. This is the Perfecting Complexion Stick in June. I'm actually just gonna put it really where I need it, like around my eyes. I'm always gonna use this like a concealer. And then just blending that in with a Kabuki brush. Oh, that's clean, not anymore. <laughs> this weekend we went to a friend's house and we played traitors you know like the tv show we played it in real life my friend works in events and planned the whole evening she had like flow charts for like what would happen if a traitor got voted out really early then we would have been able to recruit someone um and it was so good but so stressful because i was a traitor i was picked to be a traitor my friend took us all like upstairs one by one and told us if we were going to be a faithful or a traitor and I was a traitor and I was like, no. <laughs> it was really fun. Like if you and your friends are a big fan of the TV show, like highly recommend turning a dinner party into a traitor's night. But it was hardcore being a traitor. I am pleased to say that me and the other traitor got to the end. It was just the two of us. I don't actually know how we did it, <laughs> but it was good fun nonetheless. Sorry if you can hear Mark outside with the hoover. I do have the Merit Bronze Balm, but I'd say it's the wrong color. I have Quince. I think I need the next shade up. I think that might be clay. So I'm just using the Makeup by Mario One instead. Just doing my brows with the classic. Please ignore the brows. I'm seeing my brow lady on Thursday. It's Tuesday when I'm filming this, so not long to wait. Oh, should I tell you what is so nice? This, the Flush Balm in Fox. So I got to meet Ayla at the Merit event, who is just like a big cheese. She is the big cheese at Merit. Like she, was so, so incredible to talk to. I could have spoken to her for like absolutely hours. We were talking through all the launches, talking through what they've got coming up. It was so interesting hearing about like the creation of the brand, how she started working with them and just like the vision. On Honestly could have been there for hours. It was probably there for a good half an hour anyway. <laughs> could have been like five times as long. Um, but it was really interesting hearing. She was basically like, in every line, there's a color that I've sort of like put in there for myself. And she was saying in the flush balm, it's Fox. And I really like the shade. In the thing, it looks like a little bit dark, a little bit ready, a little bit burgundy. But she said she likes to add a bit of brown into a lot of the shades that she sort of slides in there for herself. I think she said in the signature lip, it was slip. That's sort of like her color. And in the flush balm, it's this one. So I've been taking a really small amount onto the apples of my cheeks and it looks red and it looks a bit terrifying. But once you've blended it out with your fingers, this is just the perfect, like summer flushy kind of shade. I still love the peachy pinks. I still love the peachy pink. However, this feels like if you're a little bit over the peachy pinks and you want you want to level up a bit, I'd say this is like put together polished blush. Like look at that. Oh my god, I love it. It's a really awakening color. So thank you, Ayla. It was lovely to meet you. And I'm so happy that you threw that color in. <laughs> just gonna go into my makeup by Mario palette for a bit of eyeshadow. I feel like that blusher just ties it all together like Am I in my blusher era? Maybe. Right, a little bit of mascara. The clean lash is really nice. Very separating. Lovely. And then on the lips, I'm gonna do Millennial, again from Merit. I'm gonna get changed now and I would talk you through my outfit process of the day, but I'm doing like a little 
week in outfits video this week that you'll be seeing next week on my channel so I will keep that under wraps but I mean you're, you're gonna see the outfit anyway I'm gonna be wearing it I just threw this on because it was in the room and I thought it was a bit more chicer than sitting in a towel and doing my makeup um but it's time to film that and then get cracking on with some laptop work I feel like I'm getting a bit samey with my lunches but I can't get enough of those cauliflower <laughs> hash browns oh my goodness they are just too good too good I feel like actually we haven't been to the shops for a couple of days. I need to do a shop run. I need some greenery. I need some like green options for my veg. It's good to have like spinach, like a pepper or something. I, I don't know. It's good to have like a few extra bits that you can like add into things and we're a bit low on that at the moment. So I'm gonna do the cauliflower hash browns with some sweet potato, which is definitely becoming a bit of a go-to. With some egg my protein i've got some spring onions just like sprinkle on top that's probably enough we'll see how it looks check that out i froze some spring onions over the sweet potato the cauliflower hash browns that i won't stop going on about and then i remembered i had some broccoli so i was like there you go that's a bit greenery i threw in the broccoli and just roasted it with the sweet potato and then i hidden my bad egg underneath but i think i have found the secret to making a good fried egg sorry to look at all my dirty washing but i basically just heat up a bit of oil in that put my eggs in and then put a lid over the top and then you get the fried egg bottom but it kind of helps to steam the top so that it all cooks quite evenly and i'd say that's a pretty good fried egg um so yeah i might put a bit of sweet chili sauce with it you know i love a bit of sweet chili sauce and that is today's lunch <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm fine <laughs> there is something i've been meaning to talk to you about and it is Vinted. I feel like over the Christmas holidays, I got a bit involved. I went down a vinted hole. I didn't come up for air for days. But actually, it's cool. It's pre loved. It's second hand. It's clothing in rotation. And I'm super, super here for it. If you haven't checked it out before, it's kind of like Vestier is fancy designer, high end, your Celine Hobo bags. Like that's where you're going to find those. And then I feel like Depop is more your high street finds. Although I do quite like selling on Depop as well. Vinted is somewhere in the middle of that. Like it's kind of the Arquette. <laughs> I'll get a free love. I don't know, that's how I found it in my experience. Um, it is amazing for kids clothes. Like if you have a young, tiny human in your life, like it's incredible for kids clothes. I got Ralph a snowsuit for four pounds. He needed a new snowsuit. He's not gonna need it for that much longer. I was so, so happy with it. So very, very good for kids clothing finds. Um, and I've got a friend who is literally head to toe vinted whenever we see him. He is like a walking, ad for vinted he's like this is vinted my shoes are vinted my trousers are vinted like seriously head to toe vinted so i was like you know what i'm gonna give it a go so i thought i'd do a quick little secondhand pre-loved haul and just show you what i've picked up recently i think it's like five things brb you might remember these um i actually worked with whistles on this campaign it was their first ever active wear that they did in collaboration with frame um, this is the sports bra it's like red kind of mall with a little back strap and then these were the leggings with the stripe down the side and then the stripe on the back and i remember taking the photos for this campaign on brighton beach and just feeling like so fab in it it must have been like eight years ago such a long time ago now and you know me an active wear then i discovered lululemon i was having a clear out and as much as i love these and i do feel like the leggings in particular just made the bum look so good i gave these away to a friend and actually when i put that i had to repurchase it on instagram stories this friend messaged me and was like oh my god anna you gave it to me and i still have it and i love it so it went to a good home but i have had givers away regret ever since and obviously it was limited edition there's not a lot of them go on vinted someone was selling the top someone was selling the bottom i think i got the set for eight pounds like i was so happy to have this back in my life because i just i miss the leggings to be honest with you and then i, I like love a matching set um but yeah i'm just so happy to find this again because i've thought about it ever since and for eight pounds i'm really happy to be reunited the other thing was another give us away regret thing like i need to learn i need to take my own advice and just sit on things for a moment um this one is from glossier and this was the gray terrazzo hoodie um i have the pink one like i was i just don't need i mean i love glossier and i love all their hoodies but i was like i don't need multiple glossier hoodies um but 
I, I do, <laughs> that's how I do. And this was one that I thought about a lot. Again, limited edition, gave it to a friend, it is well loved, but couldn't stop thinking about it. And just where our house has been cold and our boiler has been broken. And I mean, can you tell, like I literally live in things like this. It's just nice to have a really oversized, cozy layer to put on top of things. So when I purchased this, this is in the extra large and it, it's just wonderful. And again, I'm so happy to have it back in my life. I'm so sorry I ever said goodbye to it. I love this on the back of the hoodies. It's cute, it's comfortable. I'm in my comfortable era. <laughs> then the final things that I picked up were the Birkenstock Boston clogs. <sighs> I've been thinking, I have been thinking about these clogs for years now because I remember picking up the latte cream ones, which are these ones. I mean, they're a classic. I feel like it was when Ralph was first born and I was like in bed. <laughs> doing internet shopping and that was a long time ago now like he's a little man and they are impossible to find like actually impossible like they have not come back into stock since that moment and i've been thinking about the taupe ones and i've been thinking about like the chestnutty color ones downstairs they're downstairs oh no i'm wearing them <laughs> i'm wearing them there you go i found them i found them on vintage um literally like new in the box definitely didn't catch a steal with these these were like basically the price you pay for them if not a little bit more but i just really love these shoes and i'm like i don't know when they're gonna come back into them <laughs> can you tell i like this color <laughs> i don't know when they're gonna come back into stock i've been waiting a year and a half so i took mass into my own hands found them all vintage in my size and you know what they've gone to a good home oh the other thing i bought were these look came in the box and everything these new balance 327s but they're just they're just too small for me which i'm really really sad about there are six and i think i need to make peace with the fact that pregnancy increased my shoe size like i'm kind of now six and a half seven and i'm never going back that's cool so i'm actually going to pop these back onto vintage but i thought i'd just do a little roundup of things that i've picked up off there recently because i've just found the experience really good to be honest with you i've got like no complaints and everything that i've picked up has been as described and yeah basically brand new i'm like has anyone worn this stuff and i don't know about you but i was talking to my friend about it i was like when it's like pre-loved and it's secondhand it just I get a little bit carried away. So I definitely still need to remember and like think about it and be like, is this something I'm gonna wear and like give a good home? But I'm very chuffed so far with my purchases. I just had quite a late conference call and then we put the little man to bed and now it's time to work out. Mark is upstairs doing an actual Peloton and I thought I would do a Peloton arm workout because like I mentioned, I'm trying to do a little bit more strength in my workouts these days. I always used to be an evening workout person. I was just like, this is just when it's best for me. This is when I have my most energy. Um, but things have changed and I'm definitely a morning workout person these days. Like I find it really hard to muster up all my energy and be like, right, and now I'm gonna work out. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it because this weekend we're away and we're away, we're on holiday. I don't necessarily want to have to work out when I'm away. We'll probably be doing some like beach walks and stuff like that anyway, but I'd still like to keep up some kind of consistency. So for my workouts this week, let me show you in my notion. I've got two Peloton workouts in there, then an arms and shoulders today, a glutes and legs on Friday, Pilates on Wednesday, and then just like walking, or I could always do like a fluid form, like no, what's it called? No equipment workout, that's what I found. So oh, yellow. Okay, we're back we're back so if i click on it i've already got the workout set and like ready to go and then i do screen mirroring this is what i'm doing today 20 minute upper body strength with rebecca kennedy this one in case you're wondering and then it comes up on the screen and i can just do it on the screen so let's plug in my phone i've got a selection of weights i've got a three kilogram and then a five kilogram if i want to get a bit spicy get out my mat I used to work out in the roof, but the roof is just full of our kitchen boxes at the moment. It's better to work out here amongst the toys, which I've put in the background. You can't see those. The room is full. Arms are just really just very weak in the arm area. I know things will improve, but oh my. <laughs> I had the tiniest weight doing like a skull crusher tricep thing. And I was like, ah. <laughs> Genuinely squealing out in pain. But tomorrow I'm gonna get it done in the morning. <laughs> Cause let me tell you, I would much rather be on that sofa watching Junior Bake Off eating the gusto and doing a chest press. <laughs> but the day is kind of officially over. Like we're gonna have dinner, watch a bit of TV and then we're done. So I'm taking off my makeup now, especially because I've just had like a sweaty moment. It's just nice to 
remove my makeup, do my skincare for the evening and be done. Apologies that the lighting is it's just not the one in here. Oh, there you go, it's not bad as I come closer. But like I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Skin and Me and it has made my evening skincare routine just so quick and so easy. I've removed my makeup, like cleanser, boom, done. And then take my hand towel and pat dry my face. And now I've just got two products left. Technically one if I'm not having such a dry day, but it feels like my skin is just a little bit dry at the moment. So I like to prep my skin with an eye cream and just put that under my eyes and a little bit around my nose. And my nostrils, that's just where I appear to get a little bit dry. But if you haven't heard me talk about Skin and Me before, which you probably have because I've been using it for the last year, it's powerful personalized skincare with active ingredients that you can't get over the counter. And it's completely personalized and tailored to your skin and your skin goals. Signing up is super easy. It's all done online, like so much better than like a lengthy wait for an in-person consultation. You go online, you answer questions about your skin, your skin goals, you post photos like from different angles of your face. So their team can get a real good look at your skin. My personal goals were, fine lines and like dullness with a bit of redness and hyperpigmentation thrown in because of this dark spot on the corner of my face corner of my face <laughs> you know what I mean just there and like I said earlier I feel like it has really helped to even out my skin tone help to fade those dark spot areas and also just helping with the fine line process you know I mean these ones are from where I am so expressive <laughs> I just feel like everything looks quite even and it really really helps to keep any breakouts at bay as well like I need to touch wood I need to touch wood touch wood breakouts on the whole are a thing of the past of course I still get the odd spot here and there especially if I'm trying new products giving a new complexion a go or something but on the whole we're, we're pretty good let me show you my daily dose it says your name on it <laughs> of course that's not the main selling point but it is very cute but this is what you get through your post box in a tiny little recyclable parcel, which I love. Once a month, this comes straight through your door and it's got enough for a month, plus a little bit in there. Like say you're away on holiday, you might not get your hands on that parcel immediately. So it's got like a little bit of extra just in case, like a few extra days. And you just twist it up like so. There you go, it makes that click. That's how you know that's the perfect amount of product. Completely takes the guesswork out, so I love that. I just sort of spread it evenly across my face and then just work it into my skin. And there's a code and it is such a good code. It means that you get your first month, so your first daily doser for £3.50. The usual price is £24.99 a month. You just need to use my code Anna Edit zero to why i'll put it on the screen the link to sign up is in the description box friends and family if you're watching this there you go <laughs> left my skin nice and moisturized and it's got all those active ingredients in there that are just going to do their thing overnight anything to make a beauty routine quicker especially in the evening when my energy is zero sign me up <laughs> it is now time for me to put some pajamas on honestly this arm is shaking a little bit like i'm trembling <laughs> it's time for dinner and then it is time for bed but thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much to skin and me for sponsoring this video Video, I'll put the code up on the screen again, Anna Edit 02Y. Get your first month daily dose of £3.50. Bargain. And I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye.